to my my crafty friends how are you all doing i haven't done a card making video for a few weeks so i thought i better pull my finger out and once again i'm using one of my favorite sets from the new annual catalog which is pampered pets and i've made my little card fund ready and i'm actually going to make a multi-panel accordion card i think that's what they're called anyway and then so that's the front which is usually all tied up when you undo it then it looks like this and it stands on the mantelpiece like that how gorgeous is that and they are really quite easy to make they are really worth the effort they, it does take a bit of cutting out i'll be honest it is a little bit time consuming for that but it's well worth the effort so i'm just going to go through what you need but i'll also put this in the description box below because there's a lot to take in so the front cover and the back they are and i've got my little crib my little crib card here to help me back and front panel three and three quarter inches by five and a quarter and I decorated the front I've left the back blank but I think I'm going to put my sentiment part on there where I can write so that's the front of the card then for the actual base of the card it's 12 by five and a half for this one piece then because the card works out longer than 12 inches this one then is four and a half by five and a quarter so what we do then we score the half and we stick it on then so to give us that extended panel if you can see that the swing section in the middle there's actually two pieces of whisper white the one is nine inches by three and a quarter inches and the other one is eight and a half by three and a quarter inches and once again we score half an inch on the longer piece and then join it together you then need these are going to be this part here the frame of the card you're going to make these little frames here and for that i'm using my rectangular stitch dies and I'll put in the description box below which ones you need and then you need four of those and they're the same measurements as the front and back cover so as I say I'll put all this information in the description box below because if you're anything like me your brain is probably fried already because I must be honest although I love making fancy fold cards the measurements sometimes blow my mind a bit so I'm going to put these to one side and I'm going to start my scoring. Oh, let me just show you about the designer series paper. I've cut sections now, which will be this part of the card here. I'm going to use these. And they are three and a quarter by two and a quarter. And I've got three of one design, three of another. Then I've used the stitch shapes and cut some little squares because I've cut some of these gorgeous little dogs out oops if i can only pick them up to go in there and they'll be in the center of the card then so let's get scoring and then it'll all start to make a bit of sense fingers crossed i apologize for the noise in the background it's a very very warm day so i'm in my attic with my windows open and i think the world and his wife are out in their gardens so i'm gonna put all my things to one side then bring in my scoreboard so the first thing i'm going to do is score half an inch on the four and a half inch piece so i'm just going to score half an inch like that and all i'm going to do then as you can see look at the deliberate mistake there what have i done go the wrong side that's okay because my frame is going to cover that <laughs> let's do it properly now so on, with the the shorter side across the top you're going to score half an inch that's how not to do it and then that is going to be stuck there to that so let me just put that back on yeah as you can see you won't see much of it 
Oh, goodness me. You can see I haven't done a video for a while. So I'm just going to stick that down a second with some double-sided tape. And this tape is slightly thinner than my ATG, so that's why I'm using that. Because it fits the gap perfectly. It also sounds like the Hound of the Baskervilles are outside. There we go. Just sticking that like that. Okay. So that bit, as you can see, will fold in like that. And then I'm going to score at four and eight. There we go. Yeah, four, eight, twelve, and then that's your sixteen then. Okay. Then, using my bone folder, we've got a valley fold, a mountain fold in the centre, and then a valley fold on the end. Now that piece, in a second, I am going to run through the big shot, cutting out these rectangular frame that die pieces and then the frame will go on the outside there. The first thing I'm going to do now, once I've got this, I'm going to score the nine inch piece. I'm going to score half an inch on there, like that, because I'm going to stick that piece to there. Okay. I am so looking forward to going back to school next week. I know it's only for three weeks before the summer holidays, but I'm so looking forward to having a little bit of normality in life. So, I'm going to stick that there. This is Whisper White then. And then I'm going to score at two and three quarters and five and a half. Then I'm going to flip it around and do the other side with the same measurements. Two and three quarters, five and a half. So your piece then will look like that. Okay. Once again, it's going to be valley. Just make it nice and sharp with your bone folder. Mountain. This one then is valley. I'll just score that again. Mountain and valley. Okay, now it's going to be a little bit bigger at the back. That's fine. Because when all your pieces are the same size, it's just that you've got a bigger fold and that'll be hidden at the back of your card then. Okay, so. What I'm going to do now, I'm just going to zap my card through the big shot using the rectangular stitch die. And it's quite important, just try and get it so it's the same, pretty much the same on each panel. Sorry, I've gone out of view there. Okay. Okay, so here it is. As you can see, I've cut out the centre part. And I've also attached the red frames around it. So that piece is now all done. All that left I need to do then to finish decorating this is to put that on the front. But my next job is to start decorating this piece. Okay, now with the end pieces, they're going to be sort of tucked behind there. So whatever piece of pattern paper you put, make sure you put it further into into that inner crease if that makes sense put them over a little bit okay so i'm just now going to stick those down and i'm going to alternate the papers to create a bit of a pattern like this sorry i've gone off the screen again i love love these papers i just know that i'm going to need a second pack because to be honest, I've nearly used all these as it is. Just need to get it. Even with glasses on, I can't seem to see what I'm doing tonight. There we go. 
that one. Then this one again with the bowls. And I love the fact that it's got um, images for cat and dog lovers or for both. You can mix and match. You know, it's been silent where I live all day until I decide to film something. There we go. We've also, when I was cutting those um, rectangles out, there were sirens out there. It was all kicking off. There we are. On the last one then. Okay, so that's that piece. All done, so it all folds up like that, and then da da! Like that. Just wondering where it's a little bit bright. It's a bit of a, a difficult sort of time of night at the moment because it's just sort of, it's still quite bright out there. But um, you still need a light on. So I'm just going to stick, as you can see, I've cut these little squares out now. They are the stitch shapes, and I'm going to stick those down to each section. And some of the dogs are quite dinky, so they will sort of fill that square nicely. And then on the end, I cut out the lovely, happy, friendly looking Great Dane, but I'm not going to stick him until that's in place because his tail is going to come over the end. You'll see what I mean now. So I'm going to stick all these squares down first. Now, if I were you, I wouldn't add too much dimension in the card because otherwise it's going to be a bit more difficult to fold flat. So you could put your dimension on the outside of the card, on your cover, but I would keep the middle section fairly flat. So I'm going to stick my little dogs on with glue rather than foam dots. I must say, when I first saw the annual catalogue, I fell in love with this set straight away because I am a real dog lover. Despite not having my own dog, it's difficult when, because my husband and I are in work all day, we just have a little end of my mum's dog. So I'm going to stick these little dogs now on the little white squares, just with a bit of Tombow. And it's just to make them sort of pop off the background a little bit. They're just so cute. Then, a little sausage dog. My friend has got the most stunning sausage dog called Wilf, who loves to wear all different outfits. Unlike our Westie Izzy, who hates to even wear a coat when it's cold or wet. She'd rather stay in than go out and have to wear a coat. She doesn't mind going out in the Tim Down rain without a coat on. But as soon as you put the coat out, she starts to hide. Okay, so that's the card so far. So now I need to thread it through. Now I must be honest, this did take a little bit of figuring out for some reason. Okay, so... It's going to be like this, like that. And then him, I'm going to put him on the end there as if he's high-fiving all his friends, like that. And his tail then will just come over the side of the frame. So what you need to do then is you need to try to make sure really that... Um, what am I trying to say? It's like an equal distance in between. And you're probably better put in a little bit of glue on the outside there. And then just sort of pressing it down. So that's why you need to add your piece of cards, your piece of designer paper, more to the one side than the other. I'm just going to get myself my little pegs, my extra pair of hands. 
Then I'm going to do the same thing on this side. So just fold it out, out the way. I'm just going to tip this one over because the fold is the other way. Even with a brand new glue, it still plays me up as soon as I start filming. Okay, so just bring it in slightly. Like that. And then, once again, I'm going to bring in my little pegs. Like that. Now what I... What I've been doing, to give it a little bit of added security, when you add your back and front section on, put some little foam pads on these sides because it'll give you a bit of stability because it'll stick to the side of this card. This piece also needs to go on with foam pads. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to put them there on the end pieces top and bottom one another one and on here right in each corner then on the back piece sorry I keep disappearing off your screen okay so that's going to be there I'll, first thing I'll do though is make sure I don't stick it on upside down because the night I'm having, I probably could. There we go. Now, we just, yeah, make sure. <laughs> so that is going this side here. Okay. But the other thing I'm going to do is just get my ribbon in place as well. And what I found, when I made my... Um, my template the ribbon was sliding about everywhere and would disappear out so what I tend to do is where I want it to be on my card I just put some sticky dots to stop the ribbon sliding up and down so I sort of I trap it in a little bit obviously you can't stick it down because it needs to move when the card opens I look like I was doing a hand drive then I'm just going to take all these backs off the sticky dots. And I think I watched a card, um, a tutorial on this. I think it's Stamping with Dawn. And she did a lovely one using um, all the Valentine set. All right, there we go. So that's going to be this piece. I wish there was a quicker way to take off the backs. I could use bigger pieces of foam, but I like these smaller dots because you've got more um, versatility with them then. So there we go, I'm just going to stick that down now. Ah, uh, bit of a problem. I just take one of these foam dots off there because they're showing from behind the card front. Silly me. There we go. That's that one in place. Okay. Now, as you can say, I haven't cut my ribbon yet. Because I want to make sure I've got enough of it. and not, But not too much. Then I'm going to stick... This is the back piece. So once again, I'm going to do it a bit differently this time. Make sure, if you're going to do this, you bring your foam pads in from the edge. Okay. But it just means then that your, your ribbon doesn't slide up and down the card. It can still slide out more one side than the other, but it won't slide up and down the card. And what I'm going to do at the end of this, then I'm going to put my sentiment piece, something that I can write on then. There we go. So I'm just going to stick that down now. Like that. I'm going to cut my ribbon out, there we go, like that. So I'm turning my card back over on my little fella here. He's going to go there with his tail hanging off. You 
nothing can get in the way of the fold, otherwise his little paw will be snapped. There we are. And that he's going to go there, so his paw is inside that fold line. He just looks like he's waving to all his little buddies. And there we go. That is the card. So you'll just, let me just show you it all closed up. So like this then. Just got it stuck. There we go. So my ribbon is slightly long, so I'll trim that then. You just tie it in a bow. Like this. And then, so that's your card closed. And then when you open him up, then... Oh, I can see my... He's, that needs to go in the centre. It's so funny, these things never happen unless you're on camera. There we go. So close it again. And that's how it sits on the mantelpiece. And then you can put your sentiment on the back and write your message. I love, love, love this set. I love these little cute dogs. So thank you so much for joining me. Um, a huge welcome to all my new subscribers. I really do appreciate it. It really does make my day. I'm so sorry that I've been a bit um, a bit lax lately with my card making videos. I'm, we've been preparing the school to re get ready to go back to school. Between that and the fact that obviously we're building a house at the moment, so whatever spare time I've had, I've been trying to help my husband over there, mainly by sweeping out water. But we'll get there. So this is my original one using jar of flowers. And then this is the one using pampered pets. So have fun, give it a go and take care. Hoil and I'll see you soon. Bye.